you'll see this is my uh, fail horse Freedom, who's just three and a half. Tennessee walking horse, um, high headed, but that's how most walking horses are. Occasionally you'll get one with a lower head carriage. So when you're looking at them, people go, oh my God, their head's coming up so high. Um, compare them to like a saddle bred or Frisian, you'll see that they carry their heads much higher. It's tucked in, but it's carried much higher because of where it comes out of their body. So again, depending on their conformation, if they have a different kind of conformation, it might come out lower and that horse may be comfortable with its head lower. But most of the walking horses tend to carry their heads high. Is this not the cutest horse ever? He's licking me <laughs> after I made him do all that work. Um, so when you're looking at them, if you're someone who likes to ride like more Western like and you want to get a gated horse and you don't want to work on engaging them and holding them together and collecting them, then the walking horse might not be for you. You might be better with like a Rocky Mountain, a spotted saddle, um, or a fox trotter. It depends on the horse and the conformation. So ask the owner that before you go, do you have to collect them to get them to gate or can you gate them on a loose floppy rein? Most of the walking horses, because they have that big long stride, need to be engaged to get that great gait. You know, they will gait on a loose rein, it's just not going to be as nice. Um, and so if you like to do dressage and you're used to collection and you're used to riding warm bloods and thoroughbreds and stuff, then the walking horses might be the ones for you because they take a lot of engagement. <clears throat> and it's about collecting them and riding them correctly, which is more like what we um, do in dressage. So hopefully that helps. Gator is with Majestic Rider. Let's turn him around. So now I have, he's a Tennessee walking horse and fox trotter. So he flat walks, he does a running walk, not very fast, and a fox trot. And uh, most of the fox trotters are not as fast as some of those walking horses so you got to keep them within their speed uh, to keep their gait going well so this horse is when he's loose he's trotty so that means he's on the trotty side so that means if he's going to go out a gate he's going to go into a trot and the only way he's going to go out a gate is one he's out of shape two I'm not riding him correctly or um, well there's more reasons so three he doesn't know how to gate which he does or I'm going too fast. So if you go fast, they're gaining speed for that point in time of their um, muscle strength, then you're gonna get what's at the extreme. So you'll either get a trot or if the horse is on the pacey side, you'll get a pace. So you always have to stay below that speed. If they get trotty, if you raise their head up, some you need to raise just a little, some you need to raise a lot, and that comes with you know trying to figure it out and see how it goes then you can get them in the gate. When they get in the gate, go a couple steps or so, stop and reward them. Do it over and over again until they figure it out. Once they figure that out, then over time, you'll be able to bring the head down so you won't have it straight up like a giraffe when you're riding it. Um, but that's when you see people riding different horses in the show arena. You see some with their heads up, some with their heads down. It's usually if they're trotty or pacey for them to keep them in the gate. All right, so I'm gonna show you his gait. His, um, his head does come up, but not as high as the other walking horse. So his neck, you know, is higher up out of his body than like that spotted saddle, but he's kind of in between that spotted saddle and the walking horses I showed you. that are trotty go downhill faster if it then goes uphill and that'll help you get them engaged. This is going to be his running walk. I'm still moving back and forth but it's just a little bit faster than that other gate. having problems um, if you're doing it outside if you're having problems if you do it outside an arena then the horse is motivated to go home they'll usually gate well going home they'll pace or trot going away because they don't want to go away <laughs> so that's a good way if you can't get that horse to gate practice you know going up and down a hill towards home and even that might help you to get them in gate so next will be a fox trot See if we 
to a rack, but with the thing is, I'm going for a rack. It'd be better if I was going downhill, but I can't videotape it or I'll slide. Um, so I'm going uphill. That makes them more trotty. Going downhill makes them more um, pacier on the lateral side. So coming uphill and me trying to rack, we might get it, we might not. Rack. Better than that, but that's all we're getting on the hill. So now I'm going to canter on his left leg. You'll see he, ha he has a bigger stride. This is a big horse, and he also has a lot of suspension in his canter. It really throws you up. Um, it's cushiony but it does really push you up out of the saddle. So each horse's gait and canter will be different. The ones that have that lot of suspension or they come way up in the air, you know, really rocking horse, takes more effort. So those horses can get tired more easily versus the ones that are cantering a little bit flatter and without as much energy suspended, um, as much energy to help them hold that canter. So with him, he naturally does it but I have to hold him a little bit or he gets too much suspension and it's, it's too much. So I keep a little contact and half halt with him to keep him in that rhythm. On trail, it's much easier. When you're going up and back towards the barn, of course they wanna run towards home because where's the food at home? So, but that motivates them to make a couple of things. Make straight lines. If your horse can't make a straight line, head home. It'll make the straight line right through the barn. If your horse won't go forward, to go towards home that'll make the horse go forward or if you think something's wrong with it because it's going so slow out just turn around head home if they're going fast nothing's wrong with it turn around and make it go out but they're heading home because everything's good at home but if you can't get them forward to get them to gate again try that there are a lot of people say the horse paces when I leave but he gates the whole way home because he's motivated to go home he's just got to learn that he has some motivation to go out on the trail that's why I tell people to take a break give them treats you know, hang out with your friends for a bit, give them an hour break, let them graze. So there's something out there that they want to go out there for. All right, but that's another comparison, another breed of gated horse.